Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome to my channel Today I'll be doing a different kind of review with you guys If you can see from the title above, it's gonna be about menstrual cups To me, talking about period things is actually quite normal because Every woman in their life has to go through it, so It's nothing to be ashamed of, you know, your mom, your sister, your girlfriend, your best friend, your wife You know, every woman goes through it and it's nothing to be ashamed of. I think it's something that we should talk about more so we can understand what is happening. I actually find it quite interesting to talk about all this, you know, uh, menstrual cups and fabric pads, uh, reusable tampons. You guys are gonna see a lot of all this um, different kinds of brands for menstrual cups and fabric pads and other stuff so I'm very excited to do all these reviews because I think it's something very life-changing for me and it's something that I have never experienced and it's quite fun to you know try out something new and find something that works for you let's get into the review a disclaimer I'm not a medical professional I'm just a regular person who discovered the menstrual cup and used it loved it it changed my life Okay, so before I get started on the menstrual cup, I uh, just want to tell you guys a bit of the history about my period so that um, you can understand how the cup works and all. So, when I was a lot younger, back in high school, back in 2002, uh, I had my first period. I never had a comfortable, you know, period. I've always suffered from very bad cramps, very heavy bleeding, and very irregular period cycles. So it was quite frustrating for me because back in school I was an athlete, I used to run a lot on the field. You know, throughout the training, halfway through I need to just run off to the toilet because I just had to change a pad. And not any pad, I used to use extra long night pads, the really really long ones, the longest you can find in the market. And those things are not cheap. Because of my heavy bleeding, I would go through at least 2 to 4 pads in a day and this bleeding would go on for longest I remember it's three days so three days of heavy bleeding and it was really frustrating because it would leak I've worn extra long pads with grandma leak proof panties you know if if you guys are from that generation you would know what I'm talking about and even those when I put them on it leaks so it was quite a very self-conscious thing for me to go through when I was in school it was quite embarrassing for me because you know nobody wants to bleed and you know get stains on their skirt and you know everyone looking at you when you walk around and it's always the cramps that makes me so sick that I had to go home because it was just so bad sometimes I wouldn't even go to school because of the cramps moving forward to 2011 I got hospitalized for really really bad cramps because the cramps that I had was so bad I would sweat so much my bed would be so wet I would cry I would you know I would just crawl to my toilet just to throw up sometimes I would just pass out so that one day I decided to just admit myself to the hospital because the pain was just unbearable and I was put on really strong painkillers I was throwing up a lot from all the painkillers and everything so they had to put me on morphine just to get me to sleep I went to see a gynecologist and they prescribed me to be on uh, contraceptive pills so in case you're wondering what that is it's actually birth control pills I've heard stories about people getting fat getting depressed from all this you know birth control pills and I was quite scared because you know back in 2011 I was I was what um, 19 20 for me I had to take it long term I thought it would be quite a big risk to, to take the following year 2012 I was hospitalized again it was about two to three times a year and I couldn't take the pain so after much consideration I decided to give in and take the birth control pills and or we call it OCP and I've never regretted my decision because it has changed my life. After taking the pills, I noticed a few changes. My skin is a lot better, I eat better, I sleep better, and my period cycles are a lot more regular. For the heavy bleeding issues, it took some time. According to the doctor, uh, they suspected I had polycystic ovary syndrome, or you call it PCOS or even endometriosis. I will leave a link to the two conditions I talk about down below so you guys can check it out and see what it is. Well, I didn't have any of those but my doctor just said it might be just a hormonal thing which 
I don't understand why, but uh, I do understand that when you get your period, your hormones go crazy. So, yeah. Uh, so the OCP fix all the hormonal problems except the heavy bleeding. Right after the pills, I was still bleeding a lot. I was still going through a lot of pads and I hate going broke because of, you know, buying pads, buying the OCPs and it's very frustrating because if you don't buy the pads, what are you going to use when you bleed? What are you going to use when you get your period? So to me, it's it's just a necessity. Moving forward to 2017, I came across a YouTuber with a channel called It's Just Kelly and her name is Kelly and watching her videos really changed my life because she was just all out on period products, okay? She was, she had no filters, she was just showing like, you know, how, how bleeding into a cup looks like, um, sharing her stories about what, she, what her experience was having endometriosis and going through the cramps and everything. She, she's my role model. Kelly, if you're watching this, thank you so much for doing you know, your reviews and it really changed my life. I really, really appreciate all the videos. And if you guys, you know, if you guys are curious who she is, if you, if you guys are also curious about menstrual cups, go to her channel and, you know, subscribe to her channel because it's worth watching. It's so addictive. But I told myself, I'm getting the cup, I'm gonna try it, I'm gonna see if it really works. My sister actually mailed it back to me and when I got it, I was so shocked because when I saw the box, I was like, that thing is huge. But after taking all the contraceptive pills throughout the years, my bleeding has gotten really, really light. It's literally three to four days of just light flow period. Sometimes it's just spotting. I even think that I'm sick, okay? Because to me, having such a light period, it was so smooth. I was thinking like, is this even real? Is this, is this, is this a dream? Am I sick? So I consulted a doctor and said it's fine. It's quite normal. So I just went on taking my pills. Uh, looking at the cup in my room for about a month, I decided to take out the cup and read through the instructions on how to use it and stuff, so I decided to give it a go. And all I can say is it was such a life-changing experience and I love it. Okay, so story set aside, let's get into the review. Okay, so the first question when I talk about the menstrual cup or when I show people, they'll be like, what the heck is a menstrual cup? Okay, so what is a menstrual cup? It is a silicone cup that you insert into your vagina or vaginal canal and you bleed in it. So how do you insert the cup is? You can choose to stand, you can choose to squat, or you can choose to sit down. But make sure when you're doing this, you are relaxing the muscle so that it's easier to insert the cup. And once you're relaxed, you can insert the cup. So you can fold the cup this way and fold it this way. Okay, so it looks like this. And basically just push it in. So when you put in the cup, it will really just pop open and it will just stay inside your cervix and it will just cause a little suction so that it will stay in place. And another way is you can push it in, push the front, close, and that's it. Okay, so it looks like this. I personally like using this because it's a lot easier to insert. From another website, I saw that they do this. Okay, fold it. And this one, you can just fold it this way. Okay, so it looks like this. So after you insert the cup, you can wash your hands. You have to stick your finger in and just feel the cup at the bottom. So usually if it's open, it will feel very round at the bottom. How long can you leave the cup in? So from what I've read, it's 12 hours and even if you don't take out within the 12 hours, it's fine. But for those who bleed a lot, usually in between, you can just take it out. So how do you take it out? So for me, I stick a finger in, I squeeze the bottom of the cup and I just wiggle it out and pull it out. Some people, when they pull it out, it spills because of the heavy bleeding. So I advise you to do this while you sit down on the toilet bowl so when you pull it out it just leaks into the toilet bowl so you don't make a mess on the floor some people they just leave it in until they get home take it out but I personally would leave it on for 12 hours because I don't bleed that much because I'm a light bleeder so another way is you can pull the tip pull the tip you can pull the tip down until you feel the bottom of the cup and same way squeeze the cup 
wiggle it, basically just move it left and right and just pull out just to release the suction from the from the walls and just pull it out. Mine has no tip. I cut it off because when I put mine in I feel the, the tip so I just cut it off. So if you're a kind of person that you know when you put the cup in and you don't feel the tip, it's fine to leave the tip on but for me I actually felt the tip so I cut it off. So after you use it, use a very mild soap, not antibacterial soap but very mild soap. Just clean it, wash it or even a feminine wash because every time I go through a period I use a feminine wash to wash to clean it just to get rid of the bacteria so if I can use that on my vagina why not I use that to clean my cup because this goes into my vagina so makes sense right I think I've covered the basics of how to use what's a menstrual cup how to insert it how to take it out so I want to share with you guys other details about the cup so if you guys can see the inside if you can see on the side right there are measurements here and there and uh, usually it will show you like how much you bleed so inside it says uh, 15 ml uh, 7.5 ml and also this is made in Canada as you can see and on the other side of the cup it's it's labeled in ounce so one is one fourth of an ounce and half an ounce and the logo the diva cup I don't know if you guys can see the diva cup um, and for the tip, actually it's a lot longer, it's about, I think it's about this long but because for me, I think I have a very low cervix so I cut it off because every time I put the cup in, when I sit down, when I move, I feel like it's, it's just in between my legs, it's just uncomfortable because I can feel the tip so I cut off the tip bit by bit until I feel comfortable. You don't feel the tip, it's comfortable for you, then it's fine. Another question I get a lot is, what is it made of? So it's, different brands have different explanations on what kind of silicone they use. For the Diva Cup, on the website it says it's made of natural unpigmented silicone. Is it safe? Yes, it's safe. Can you use it when you sleep? Yes, you can. Can you use it during sex? No, you cannot because it's right inside. Do I take this out? When I have to go for a number one or a number two, no, you don't have to take it out because it's all the way inside and it does not come out when you have to do your business, so you don't have to worry about it. How much does it cost? Okay, this one it costs forty nine ninety nine in per. Uh, in ringgit, I think it's about hundred and eighty ringgit, but in other countries like Canada, I think it's about thirty to forty dollars. I'm not really sure about other parts of the country. But um, yeah, that is how much it costs in Perth. Unfortunately, you can't find this brand in Malaysia. Even if they have, I have no idea where to find it. So thank you, Melissa, for getting this for me. There's a very important thing you guys need to know how to take care of the cup. Before your cycle and after your cycle, you need to boil this for five minutes in a pot full of water. Boiling it helps to sterilize the cup and it kills all the bacteria, whatever is left on the cup. So after cleaning the cup, you can just put it into this little pouch that comes along with the cup when you buy it. What size to get for the cup, which is very important because some people have very low cervix, some has very high cervix. So um, according to another friend of mine which I consulted with, which is a doctor, um, how do you know if you have a low or a very high cervix according to her is, you know, when you put in the cup you can easily put it in, easily put it out, and you can easily find it. You have a very low cervix, and sometimes if you have a hard time putting it in, and a very hard time to get it out, you might have a high cervix. So that's what she explained to me. So from the website, I've read that for those who are 30 and below, or who has not given birth yet, you should get a size 1. For those who have given birth and above the age of 30, you can get a size 2 because the cup is slightly larger than the size 1 so right now I'm using a size 1 so far size 1 is fine because if it's just well it's not giving me any problems so yeah size 1 is good does it hurt? okay for me my first experience is quite funny because when I first insert this it did not hurt but I couldn't get it in because I was really nervous so I couldn't do it standing, I couldn't do it squatting. Squatting is the worst for me because when you squat, I feel that your muscles are, your muscles are more tense, it's more flexed. So it's very hard to insert the cup. So what I do is I sit on a toilet bowl and 
I just stick the cup in. But it took me a few tries because I wasn't used to it. So usually if I can't get it in, I will usually wash this with water. And just, just so that the water helps to lubricate the cup. And I fold it this way. And I tried it a few times, stick it in. Okay, when I got it in, I was like, okay, so is that it? Did I get it in? So I tried to feel the cup. It was actually quite round. So I'm like, I think I got it in. When I stood up, I did not feel a thing. It was the most comfortable thing I put in. And I was so shocked. And I went through about my day for about 10 hours. And I even went off to the gym to train. I didn't even take it out once in a day. So I went off to the gym. I did some squats, did some running and weights and stuff and had dinner, come back. Before taking a shower, I took it out. The outside was completely clean. Everything was inside. I mean sometimes I have like little gunks inside. But um I I just bled like this much, like this much. I just dumped the blood into the toilet bowl, rinse it, wash it with feminine wash. Set it aside to dry, put it back in because I have to sleep. So the next morning, same thing, take it out, clean it. It was clean on the outside, nothing was wrong, and so on. And it went on until my cycle finished and boiled it, kept it. It was such a hassle-free experience for me. So I would definitely recommend everyone to try out the menstrual cup. So if you think it's for you, you can try it out. If it's not for you, it's okay because not everybody would like the menstrual cup. Some people like using tampons. There are reusable tampons out there, but I'm not very sure about the brand because I'm not a fan of tampons. I don't like having a string in between my legs. And I find it quite troublesome. I'm 100% a cup supporter. So for those of you guys, if you have any other questions, if you have any other feedbacks or suggestions or brands to recommend me or just thoughts of whatever you think about the cup, please feel free to leave it down in the comments section below. I would be happy to share my thoughts, my experience with you guys. I would love to read about your stories and um, you know, girl talk. I think it's actually very important for us to talk about this. It's not something to be ashamed of. It is not something that we talk about a lot in Malaysia because some people find it like a taboo. So for me, I love it. I, I love the cup. I really love it. I would recommend most girls to use this. It's very environmental friendly. It's a silicone it will save you so much money because this thing you can use it for more than 10 years you know how much money can you save with just one cup you don't even have to buy pads I don't even buy my pads anymore I don't even have pads anymore I only have panty liners that's it I don't have any more other pads not even a day pad that concludes everything about the menstrual cup thank you guys so much for watching if you guys have any questions please leave it down in the comment section below I will try to answer them and I will be back with other reviews and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!